Hey you guys, this is Raphael from ShilohRelics.com. I hope you're all doing well today. I hope you're having a good week so far. It's been a good one here. We're getting ready to be at the Dalton, Georgia Civil War show this weekend. So I've been getting packed up and getting everything ready. And uh, I didn't have the usual time to do one of these to do all my research. So I thought I would do one on something that's in my collection that I've cherished for years. Uh, that means a lot to me that I get to share with you guys. And it means a lot to me because not only is it a neat artifact, it's something that came from a person that was very important to me. Uh, if you've watched these videos, you know I'm I'm a sucker. Once you're my friend, it's hard to get off that list. Uh, and this one came from a fellow that was very, very influential to me, uh, very important to a lot of collectors. Uh, his name was Bill Guthman, G-U-T-H-M-A-N. And Bill is from up uh, in Yankee land, uh, up in, uh, New England. Great guy. He was, uh, one of the most passionate collectors that I have ever met when, uh, he had, uh, wrote several real early books on the war of 1812 and of different weapons and things like that. And in, uh, 2000, I decided I, I need to be on Antiques Roadshow. And so I started writing letters uh, asking them to give me a chance. I was a young kid. Hell, I had plenty of hair, no beer gut. I was uh, ready to go. And so I started writing them letters saying, hey, just give me a chance, give me a chance, give me a chance, give me a chance. And I had people from all over the country that were my customers writing letters just asking to give me one chance. And the phone rang one day after I think it was 27, 28, 30 letters. It was a pile. And it was the producer. And he said, uh, we talked for a little bit and he said, I got two questions to ask you. He said, uh, I said, well, okay, what is it? He says, if need be, could you be in Miami next weekend for a show? And I said, hell, if you need me there, I can be there tonight. I'll saddle up and go. Cause I was, I was young, had the world by the, uh, but I was ready to go. And so we talked a little bit more and I said, okay, so what's the second thing? He said, if I give you this one chance that you and everybody else is asking me for, will you stop writing me letters? And I said, yes, sir. If you don't like me there, you will never hear from me again. I'll just go away. And he didn't invite me to Miami, but that next year they invited me uh, down to do one. And I flew down and there was this older gentleman with a tea glass full of vodka. <laughs> if you knew Bill, you knew he liked his vodka gimlets with uh, an onion and drank him out of a tea glass because uh, <laughs> that's the way he was. And we got to talking and he was he was kind of distant because he didn't really know me, but once he got to know me and uh, he watched uh, how I handled myself at the table, I was scared to death. God, I was shaking. I, I still shake when I think about it. I was so nervous, but it was, uh, uh, in, ended up being a show in Miami. And, uh, after the show, everybody with the crew, we went over to have a drink and, uh, decompress a little bit. And the producer and a couple of the other producers came up and I was so excited and so nervous. I was still nauseous. And Bill looks over at him and he says, the kid did good. And that that one phrase is something that I'm so proud of because uh, the kid did good. And I don't think I would have been invited back because he basically ran the table. Uh, but because of him, he, would, he got me back and after, uh, a few shows, he would always say to him, what do we got to do to get the kid on more shows? What do we got to do to get the kid on more shows? And I bet I heard him say that a dozen times. <clears throat> and I tell you that story because uh, I didn't know it at the time, but Bill was battling cancer. <laughs> and uh, he, I was on the show for several years with, with him and I tried to help him in every way that he helped me because he was a good kind hearted soul. So, um, but he had, he passed, uh, and his family, very wonderful people, uh, ended up uh, selling the collection through an auction up in Maine. And at the time that it happened, 
I didn't have hardly anything to spend because I had bought a big collection and I was still getting going, didn't have much. But there was, I uh, wanted to go up and be at the sale. I go up to the sale and there were a little bit of everything. Some pieces brought some insane money because a lot of stuff, he wouldn't sell you one. If he had 10 swords of the same style, you had to buy all 10 of them because he wouldn't let you buy just one. <laughs> and uh, But he was selling stuff and there had been an article that he had written for Antiques Roadshow Insider Magazine a few years earlier. And they don't do the magazine anymore, but it was great, a great magazine. I really enjoyed it. Uh, and this one is one that they did. And it had uh, an article by Bill. That's Bill. This is him. Great guy. Uh, served during World War II. Amazing person. Uh, but he collected, one thing that he collected, of the many things he collected, were uh, what he called make-dos. And when you took uh, pieces out of military service, a lot of times they got thrown away. A lot of times they got hung on the wall and appreciated as the relic that they were, but a lot of times they got forced into service as something else. Like this one, it's a musket stock that they converted into a hoof scraper for horses. And this, an eagle breastplate like this, that they made into a pendulum weight for a clock. So a lot of times things get multi-purposed <laughs> back into service. One of the pieces that he actually is holding, and you can see him looking down at it, this is the picture. You can see him looking down at it and he's like, this is so cool. And I remembered when I got that magazine, seeing him holding that piece and thought, that is the kind of love that a lot of collectors have for the pieces. And so uh, when I go to the auction, I see this and that's the piece that he's holding. And it is, it, it doesn't look fancy. It ain't shiny, it ain't beautiful, but it's cool. The piece that they may do and made something out of is the handle off. This is the handle. It's the handle off of a Model 1832 Ames Artillery Short Sword. These swords were really popular. They made them from 32 up until I think it's 60, 1863. They made thousands of them. Uh, they were mainly to be used as a tool. They could be used as a weapon, but uh, this is just the handle. It's a cast brass handle, two pieces joined together. Uh, <clears throat> and this one, they actually added to the handle of a wood plane. And for planing down and finishing wood, uh, when you're building a house, something of that line, it's a tool. And the handle's on there soft as a rock and it has the adjustable blade, depending on the thickness of the wood you needed to work down. But it's a, uh, it's a make-do, and it's Bill Guthman's make-do that he's holding in this picture. Uh, it's, a, it's just a neat thing. It shows that uh, these people that you picture as soldiers also did things, uh, they're regular people. They were woodsmiths, they were uh, counter clerks at stores, they were uh, everything. And it's just a great piece, and I love it because it's a lot of character. I've had it uh, for 15 years now. Uh, Bill was Bill was a great friend of mine. I'm so thankful that he helped me with uh, being on the Antiques Roadshow because I was on the show for 19 years. Uh, one of the highlights of my life was getting to be on the show. I really enjoyed it. Uh, we had a disagreement on uh, a few things about preserving our history. Uh, I didn't see eye to eye, so I'm no longer there. I wish them well because they are very... Uh, a lot of people on there have been tremendous to me over the years, and I wish them only the best. But I am for preserving history, not ignoring history, not saying uh, because one person says that history is bad, we should act like history did not happen. We should appreciate history and learn from it. And I've always said that. If you watch these, you've heard me say that a thousand times. Uh, <clears throat> but... I just hope you've enjoyed getting to share this because it's been good to me, good for me to think about Bill and think about those days with Antiques Roadshow because it has been a special part of my life. Uh, but this YouTube channel has been tremendous. I am so thankful for it. I'm so thankful for you guys for taking time to watch because it's let me be me. It doesn't have somebody saying you can say this, but you can't say that because some people might not agree with it. 
I ain't ever walked on water and the words I speak are not biblical. You verify, trust but verify, go on there, learn about the things I tell you about because I ain't walked on the water, but I enjoy getting to share these pieces with you guys. I'm so thankful for my life. I'm so thankful for my friends and my family. And I'm thankful that you guys take time to watch. I appreciate you. I love you. And I'll catch you next time.